guys, I'm Anu here and before I jump into this video, I just want to ask you guys to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot and it helps out the video a lot on the algorithm. I'm going to give you guys a second to do that. Okay, now that that's over, guys, great news if you are a Raptors fan like myself because it is being reported and it was being reported all of last week that Scotty Barnes has been in the gym. And I know that's not the biggest, craziest news because every player should be in the gym at any off season. But I took a particular interest in Scotty Barnes being in a gym, particularly because of how good of a season he had this year. Um, he won the Rookie of the Year award. And to me, what I'm hearing about Scotty Barnes this summer after the season he just put up in his rookie year, it really puts a smile on my face. I really think the future is bright for the Toronto Raptors um, because it is being reported that Scotty Barnes is in both the gym and the weight room. Yes, apparently Scotty Barnes has put on 10 pounds of muscle ever since the offseason started. This is amazing, this is great because you don't see a lot of guys in his age group like Cade Cunningham, like even look at LaMelo Ball, for example. LaMelo Ball was the number two pick overall. Um, he's still skinny, never got in the gym, never, right? And I just love that the fact that Scotty Barnes won a Rookie of the Year award, it didn't get into his head. He outperformed Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green, all of them, it didn't get in his head, and he got back in the gym, and he just wants to get better. Aaron Ross, a beat writer for the Toronto Raptors, um, reported, he was the one who reported that Scotty Barnes put on 10 pounds of muscle. And guys, if you see videos of Scotty Barnes, he looks huge. He looks like a man amongst boys. Like, I'm not even kidding. And apparently Scotty Barnes has gotten exponentially better. Um, according to his trainer, Brian McCone. Brian actually went on to talk in detail about exactly what Scotty Barnes has been working on this summer. Um, all the things that, the, the very specific intrinsic things that he needs to work on. Things like how aggressive he should be, when he should be aggressive, stuff like that. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna go check that out. But yes, I wanted to give my thoughts on this. Um, I Everything I've heard about Scotty Barnes this summer, just puts a huge smile on my face. You know, there's also news about James Harden, but I'll get into that later. But yeah, my thought on this is it's amazing. It's amazing that Scotty Barnes is doing this. Um, he's putting on muscle. Not every you can't not everyone does that. Not every rookie does that. I mean, look at Lonzo Ball and Lamella Ball, for example. Both of them still kind of look like what they look like when he first got into the league. Look at Kate Cunningham, look at Jalen Green. They haven't really, they're not really taking care of their body, right? They're not really about it like that. This makes me happy because it tells me that Scotty has a great work ethic. It tells me that Scotty has it where it counts, right? In order, it tells me that Scotty is literally a superstar in the making. Why? Because in order to be a superstar, you need three things to be a superstar. Number one, you have to have the talent, right? And I, I think Scotty Barnes has that talent. I think he can be like Kawhi Leonard or Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think that's how good he can be. Number two, you have to have the body. Scotty Barnes has the body and he's building it up as we talk right now, right? Putting on 10 pounds of, of muscle, um, getting in the gym, making sure he's right. And number three, you have to have the work ethic and the determination to be a superstar. All the greats have this. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. All of them had that determination to get in the gym right when the season ended, get in the gym if they won an MVP, get in the gym if they won a championship, get in the gym, keep working, stay hungry, want more. I'm seeing that in Scotty Barnes. Guy had a great rookie season, outperformed all of his rookie counterparts. It's him, he's in the news, he's in the headlines, right? He's in the headlines, it's him that they're talking about. He's the one that's getting his body right. He's the one that's getting praises from James. A contrast of what it takes to be a superstar of someone who has the skills but doesn't have the work ethic is I wanna get Kobe Bryant and Anthony Davis. Both of them very talented, but who had the work ethic? Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant's work ethic is legendary. You hear stories about it in contrast to Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis, what do you hear about Anthony Davis nowadays? I, the guy barely wants it anymore. Everyone says that Anthony Davis just seems like he doesn't really 
care about winning that much. Ever since he won the 2020 NBA championship with LeBron, he doesn't care. And apparently it's, it gets under LeBron's skin, right? That he doesn't keep his body right. That's why he's always injured during the season, right? Um, and he came out this year. I think it was in June or July. He said, I haven't touched a basketball since like April 5th. And people are like outraged. Like, what are you talking about? Dude, you should be in the gym, especially after that horrible season the Lakers had. You should be in the gym getting ready, making sure your body is right. And he said, he, he even said, I never do any work. I never work out in the off season. I never really do anything in the off season. People are like, well, duh. Well, that's why you hurt every two games. You gotta take care of your body. You gotta make sure your body is ready to go for the season. And you gotta have that work ethic to be in a gym in and out every day. Kobe had that. LeBron has that. LeBron took such good care of his body. He's in year 19. This is, these are the things it takes to be a superstar, to be one of the greats. And I'm seeing it in Scotty Barnes right now as we speak. His trainer, Brian McCone, said that about a month after the season ended, he was right in a gym and he had specific things he wanted to work on to improve his game. That's what I wanna see. Could you imagine if a guy like Anthony Davis was like that, right? really cared about his body, watch what he ate, right? Anthony Davis would be a, he'd be a superstar, but he's not, he doesn't do any of that. From his own words, he doesn't do any of that, right? And so you contrast someone like that, who Andy Davis, who's a generational talent, doesn't have that work ethic, doesn't take care of his body, with someone like Kobe Bryant, a literal gym rat, obsessive about success, obsessive about working out, obsessive about work ethic, and you get Kobe Bryant. and. Scotty Barnes is looking to me like he is tipping more towards the Kobe Bryant side of things. And that's great, right? Um, because I think Scotty Barnes really has the making to be a superstar. I think he could be a mixture of Kawhi Leonard and Giannis Antetokounmpo together. I think that's who he is. I think that's how good he can be. You know, um, there's also more news about Scotty Barnes this week. Scotty Barnes was playing at the Rico Hines run and James Harden and a bunch of other NBA players were there. and. After locking up James Harden and dropping, what, what did he drop? He dropped 36 points, he went 15 of 17, had 10 assists, went 6 of 6 for 3 pointers, 0 turnovers. After he did that, James Harden had nothing but respect. He had nothing to say but give Scotty, you know, the, the props that he deserves. Listen up! Hey, on the side! Just wait! I just like the competitive spirit that's going on here. Like, Scotty, you picking me up full court. Just pick up. Uh, first week of August? Yeah. You know, you got that mindset to just get dog. You know what I mean? Everybody should have that mindset, especially if you want to get paid, take care of your family. So, uh, I love the work, man. We ain't had a pickup in a couple years, so this is good to be back in the gym uh, and competing for real. So I'm proud of y'all, man. Good job. And that's what I'm talking about. These are the headlines that are coming out about Scotty Barnes. He just, every single day, as the summer goes on, I'm starting to like him and like him more. He has a bright future ahead of him. But uh, those are just my thoughts. Guys, if you like this kind of content, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, again, leave a like. Um, it really helps out the video. I really appreciate it. And uh, until next time, kids.